Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be opening up and unboxing all of this stuff. This is almost all Anzio related, and most of the Anzio stuff is Duce related, so yeah, if you like anchovy, this haul is for you. So I guess we can go ahead and start out with my shirt, because I actually got this and it is kind of part of this haul, I just was like, I might as well wear it, right? So this has a little anchovy coming out of the pocket. It's very cute. I really, really like the shirt. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my god, I gotta get it. So it wasn't too expensive, was brand new, and I love it. So yeah, if it looks like it's got some creases in it, it's because I legitimately just opened up the package to put it on. First, I'm going to go ahead and start with all this merch here. Um, the majority of this was actually from one Yahoo auction. Someone had posted like a just a junk a junk pile which means that basically stuff is not like not necessarily in the best condition um and so i managed to get this like most of this for like i think it was six bucks all together not bad at all and so this was the main reason i even went for this it's supposed to be an onzio wine glass and i can think of nothing more fitting than onzio wine glass yeah I don't even drink wine. There's anchovy on the one side and then it says anchovy on the other. It's, it's a nice, decent little wine glass. It's glass, it's not plastic. So I can't be upset by that. Pretty cute, pretty, pretty adorable. I like it. All right, next, I'm just gonna dump this. I guess we can start with the bag. This is just a little Anzio bag. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Probably just give it to my daughter to use as a little bag to play around with because uh, it was labeled junk. <laughs> it's funny, I said it was an Anzio haul and immediately there's stuff that's not Anzio related. There's these little keychains of K and Darjeeling. There's two Ks, one Darjeeling, which, hey, that's good for me because I like K. Then we also have a little towel that was in there. Just a random girls in Panzer. Very long towel. Next thing is this little flag. I actually really like this. I'm debating putting this in my living room. We got a box, oh, that has a little anchovy in it. Like this, it came in, this is what the box looks like. I guess these are um, Coogees, which if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a lottery pole system that is at like certain convenience stores and stuff in Japan. I think that's how you say the word. Yeah. And we got some other stuff. I'm not really sure what these are. I'm guessing that they are for your cup. Like you put your, wine glass on it, right? <laughs> they must be. Just little coasters. That's what those things are called. So we got some coasters for override teams and then we got anchovy. Nice. Then I got these little tank things. I don't know if these are stickers, but there's a good amount of them. Let's see. Let's open it up and see what they are. Are they stickers? Hmm. Nope. They're just like pieces of cardboard. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this. Especially since they're... Oh, they're not all the same. I thought they were all the same. So I guess they're all like the different tanks now? Oh yeah, they are. They're like... All the different tanks. Alright. I, I guess that's neat. I don't know what to do with them. I guess I could always just stick them around the room. They're cute. They're fun. They're on the floor. I saw a bunch of these actually. These are like little tanks with the... They're tanks that come with one girl. So I got a little Katusha and Anzu here. So yeah, that's that's fun. I've seen these go up and like have other characters and I was wondering if they're any good. So let's go ahead and open up Katusha. Okay, maybe, maybe. Do I, I shouldn't need a knife for this, come on. This is stupid. This is a stupid thing to need a knife for. Because I'm just that weak. Anzio is not weak. <laughs> I thought she went flying for a second there. I was like, oh. And I guess we can go ahead and open Anzu 2. Why not? Why not open them both? I was kind of bummed that they didn't come with that anchovy. Yeah. You'd think, since it was like, it was labeled like an Anzio junk loot thing. So that would have been cool. But I'm not gonna complain too much. The bases are also different depending on the symbols, so I think that's kind of cute. The tanks are probably the best part. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the little ones—they're cute, but I have the petite androids, and they're—they're they're better than these, and they're bigger. So the little tanks are really adorable. Next, we have an Alice keychain. Oh, never mind. This was not a coaster. <laughs> Anchovies a keychain. I would never use this as a keychain. It's like—it's all rubber. 
but we got Alice as well. Maho. So, got three of these. Nice. I don't know what this is. It's like a little wooden thing. Mm. It's a wooden thing. It says something on it. Probably about girls in Panzer. I would think. No idea what this is. It's just like a little piece of wood. You know what? You know what it does? It hangs right here. And I perpetually forget, will forget to look at what it is. Oh, no, this is actually a sticker. I, I like that. I don't know where I'm going to put the sticker, but it's very cute. This is just a little, like, cardboard cutout. It says uh, World of Tanks on the back, so I guess it's a little thing. Uh, I think it's cute, but again, I'm not really sure what to do with it. I guess I'll just pop it up here as well. Oh, you know, we'll just put him right there. Maybe. You know, I probably should just put the rest of the stuff up there now and think about it. So this is the best thing to come out of that entire junk bag. We got pepperoni, anchovy, and carpaccio, and I don't know what this is. I guess it's just like a little flag, it's a little banner. I'll definitely hang it in here. I'll find a place, maybe like right here. Probably not right there. But yeah, I think it's cute. It's very cute. Definitely wouldn't have bought this like on its own, but I, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and like get this whole little junk pile of stuff. Like that's neat, right? You get kind of like excited to see what you get. What kind of mysteries will you unveil? <laughs> so the other thing that I got, this was not in the junk pile. This I did get separately for a very specific reason. So this is the little birthday. Well, I shouldn't say little. This is a huge acrylic uh, keychain for anchovy here. But I had to get her because not only is anchovy my favorite, but she also has the closest birthday to me. So she is three days ahead of me birthday wise. And I just, I thought this was really cute. So I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. All right, where is she gonna hang? Right in front of Alita's face. Yeah, that's where she'll hang for now. I'll, fi I'll fix that later. This is my first acrylic stand, believe it or not. So that's fun. Here's what it looks like in the packaging. I got that off of uh, Yahoo Japan too. What I like to do is combine shipping and get stuff off of Yahoo Japan. And so I get figures and then I'm like, oh, well if I get flat things, it makes it worth it. Cause otherwise you're paying a lot of shipping to ship flat stuff. And like, to me, it's like, they don't weigh much and they don't take up space. So it makes sense when you get figures, go ahead and as long as you're going through a proxy. I should probably preface. Going through a proxy service, it makes more sense. So everything's just in its little baggies here. She comes with this cute little stand and she has the option for you to make her into a keychain. Instead, this is just a little keychain chain. And here is the acrylic stand. It is one-sided. Again, I've never had acrylic stands, so I'm not really sure if that's normal. I would assume it is. And she just supposedly goes like that. You know, I just realized she doesn't have any shoes on. And she's got a feather duster. I don't know why, that's, that's even more adorable. You'd think I'd probably pay attention to that stuff before I get her, but I really like this. Like, I don't know, I think it's really cute. I feel like Santa's are really neat. I'll just put her up there. Look at that. She's good. adorable. Gorgeous. She can remind me to actually dust my figures every once in a while. <laughs> Garage kits. So these are recasts. This is from GK Model. They're a Taiwanese company, I believe. And so basically, I have ordered, and this will be in a haul in the future, so I guess this is a little glimpse of that. But there's these swimsuit versions of some of the girls in Panzer characters, specifically the commanders of the different different schools. I was gonna say different teams, and then I was like, well, that's not, I mean, yes, but there's more to it. So basically, there's these really cool garage kits. And they're kind of hard to find because you can't order them through Volk's website anymore. And I really, really, really wanted this anchovy one. So this is what it will eventually look like. And the only way I could find her was through recasts. So I went for it. So yeah, there's pretty cheap compared to other like recast stores. Um, they just kind of come in this box all, all nice and taped up. So when I get around to it, I can go ahead and build that. I initially found out that it even existed because I saw the K one and I actually got the K one, the legit one. It's in the ocean right now. It's going to take forever to get here because I've mentioned before, I don't pay for fast shipping. I don't believe in that. <laughs> you can probably find the anchovy one in here because the K one is also, yeah, this is literally right there. So I highly recommend this art book by the way. If you like these. 
the girlies and not just the tanks. So here's the trivia. That's exactly what the garage kit is. The next one here is also a garage kit. This one is really cute too. Same company. Um, I'm actually like kind of more excited to make this one, honestly. But yeah, this is another recast. And this is of the Anzio girls. <laughs> so I thought this one was really neat because the other ones I could see being made into scales. I doubt this ever would be made into anything other than a garage kit. So I'm pretty excited to build them. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But again, these ones actually are in here more so like this on the pieces. So you can see them all. But yeah, it's pretty cute. Pretty excited to make that. And once I do, I'll definitely like share. But I can't say when I'll actually have a chance. So the last garage kit I got, and this one's actually the legit one. This is from Volks. If you're ever interested in the Volks garage kits, check their website first. Because I see these go up like a lot of time on eBay and stuff, and people always overprice these. You can get them directly from the company that makes them. Like, I don't know why people will spend so much money on them. Because there's like a Darjeeling and a K. They got Nona and Katusha actually stacked, you know? And people, I think, will pay a lot of more money for them. But this is, I mean, there's really no point in opening it, but I'll open up the plastic part. This is the actual Volks kit from the Volks website. You just have to sign up for them for their like newsletter or whatever. And then you can start ordering stuff, but it's like, yeah, it's neat. And these come actually pre-colored, which is nice. The other ones don't, they're all just white. These actually have like the base coat color to them. So you can just add a little bit of detail or if you don't know what to do with your painting, you can just literally leave them if you don't care. Now we're finally into actual figures. I'm gonna first start with this one. These ones you can get off Amazon. I found this one on Yahoo Auctions for a lot cheaper than she goes on Amazon. So I went ahead and grabbed her there. Uh, in case you were wondering, here's everybody they make. So if you're interested. But, actually they make more than that because there's a K one. I know, I have it. For, <laughs> I'm saving it for another haul. I have wanted to get all the Anzio stuff together specifically for this video, but yeah, so they make even more than just them, but you can find these ones just on Amazon easy. No, no big deal. I wouldn't wait to find them. I don't save the box, so I don't care about that, but I'm sure someone just like was like, oh my God, what did you do? I actually got her for less than 10 bucks, so this is not bad at all. Uh, I've seen them go for more than that. I've seen them go upwards of 30 depending on where you're buying them but they're nice enough I think it looks pretty good honestly considering what it is so I'm pretty happy with it eventually I'm gonna collect all of these but I'm just gonna wait and ask for them as Christmas gifts because <laughs> I'm kind of like you know they're, they're smaller I'd rather go and try and find the um, the bigger stuff and try and find a good deal on it you know Whereas I feel like other people can get that and you know, it's, they're gonna be around a normal price. I'm only picking them up if they are like super crazy cheap. The next one we have is this racing one. I wasn't gonna get her. I oh, yeah, know she's already unpacked. That's cause I bought her without a box. This is how she came. She was just bubble wrapped. So let me get the rest of her. I can get her all set up while I'm talking. I can multitask, I believe in myself. So I initially wasn't gonna get her. And I'm only getting her for now. Basically, they have Maho and also Darjeeling versions of these. And they apparently have like a 1 8 and a 1 5th. This has got to be the 1 8th. I got her way cheaper than what she's supposed to go for. And I've heard not great things after ordering it, of course. And I then looked it up like a dummy. But <laughs> honestly, I think she looks fine it's kind of weird like i never would have put her in this outfit personally but i think she looks great honestly i got her so she could go next to my little nascar um from when i was a kid so i have a signed nascar by elliot sadler and i've always wanted to display it but i'm like i have literally nothing to display that with i don't know what i would even do so i wanted the anchovy i did want the smaller one because i think she'll look better next to the car and she wasn't that much money, so I I guess I recommend her. I just think it's kind of a weird, I don't know. I, I don't understand the racing outfits for characters. Like this was a very distinct, like I had a purpose for her versus like, I feel like the other racing, like racing Mikus and racing stuff, I'm like, but what are you displaying them with? I don't know. I guess, you know, it all depends on where your collection's going. And up here, it wouldn't make sense for me, but 
I have a specific place that she will be displayed with my NASCAR. So that's all good. On to the last thing, and this is kind of exciting because these are my first Q poshes I'm ever opening up. Q posh is like Nendroids, but I don't know. They don't have like a bunch of extra parts. They're supposed to just be more movable. So here's her box. I got her used and her anchovy. You can see what I'm doing. I don't have to tell you who I'm opening, do I? <laughs> so she comes with, maybe I should have showed her like this. There you go. I just made her little flag fall down. But she comes with two face plates, other than the one that she's, two additional face plates. That's how you say that. She comes with this little base. The bases are magnetic. So theoretically, there's a magnet in her foot and she'll be able to very easily chill on it. So, oh, her head just popped right off. Really easy. Her head's so heavy. She's a lot heavier than a Nendoroid. Um, I'm not a big Nendoroid collector, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> but here she is. She's definitely bigger than a Nendoroid as well. Uh, I could show you. Hold on, I'll grab Tanya. Here's Tanya for reference. I don't have any of the uh, girls in Panzer Nendoroids. They're very cheap though. If you ever want one, they're super cheap. And actually the cute poshes are too. I managed to find anchovy for 10 bucks. Yeah. All the girls like go up for between 10... <laughs> All the girls in Panzer Girls go up for, it seems, between 10 and 15 bucks on Ami Ami pre-owned. So if you're ever looking for any, I highly suggest going that route with it. I like her different faces. She's got like her normal little face, her happy face, her determined face. She comes with a little tank, very teeny tiny. Actually, it's kind of like the same size as those other ones I had opened up earlier. So if you wanted like little tanks to go with your cute posh, I guess that they're probably, yeah, they, they would work pretty well. I mean, I'm not the biggest tank nerd out there, so I don't know. Maybe someone would be like, that's not the right size. That tank's supposed to be so much smaller than that one. Okay. All right. I believe you. Leave me alone. <laughs> but yeah, so the little flag sticks in the bottom of the tank. I think that's funny. So it'll be upside down. And yeah, let's go ahead and let's just put her on this. I'm just going to put her on the stand if I can. And yeah, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> she also comes with like this little handle so she can like pull the tank if you, ha you have it upside down. And you go like this. And you can like. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. Oh, and it actually, instead of going into their back, they have like little pincers go around the character. Apparently their heads fall off easily. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll find out when I unbox the other ones. So yeah, they got little magnets in their feet so you can... Actually, you don't even need... Whew. I'm a mess. Oh, her magnet fell out of her foot. That's nice. Um, we're going to shove that back in there. <laughs> yeah, so you don't actually even need the pincers because unless you're doing like some sort of weird pose, um, I guess they'll just, just... Maybe you do need the pincers. Maybe you do need the pincers. Um, yeah, maybe, we'll have to see, we'll have to see if it's a anchovy problem or a cute posh problem. I personally think I still like these more than Nendoroids, because Nendoroids, I feel like you're more limited, right? You don't have uh, as much posability. It's a pain in the butt to pose them. I feel like with these guys, you could probably just pose their body however you want it to be. Put the little grabber here for support. Maybe maybe people don't like the grabber. I don't know. I don't hear anyone ever or see anyone ever like collect these. So I kind of assume they s might suck a little bit, but I don't know. I don't hate it. I think she's actually much cuter than if she was an android. I probably would not pick up an android of her. A lot. So we can go ahead and plop her where we'd be able to see her. Right here. Perfectly in range for me to knock her right off of here. Sounds like a great idea. Perfect. <laughs> the next and last thing to open. Oh yeah, and of course she comes with her. I don't know if I showed it. But yeah. That thing, that whippy thing, I know it has a name. And you all know I have no idea what it's called. Alright, so then we got this. This is actually, this is a fun story. I like fun stories. So this is on Solaris. If you want this, go through Solaris. I don't know how else you're gonna find it um, because it is a limited edition Q posh of 
carpaccio and pepperoni. I already opened it to just check. When I ordered this, now mind you, I thought it was gonna be very overpriced. And it was kind of pricey, not gonna lie, especially for a cute posh. These two were more expensive. I'm sure if they go up on Ami Ami pre-owned, they won't be this expensive, but I question how often they're gonna go up and if Ami Ami will sell them separately or together. Either way, I went through Solaris and I was going to go ahead and I just needed pepperoni. I don't need carpaccio. And I was like, okay, I'll buy this. I'll bite the bullet in here a little bit because it was going to be more expensive than I was planning on. But I was like, all right, I'll budget for that. And I went ahead and ordered it. I then get it. I paid for the slowest shipping under the sun because that's my thing, right? I do that. <laughs> and I got them a week later. So when this arrived, I was like, excuse me, what? Like, I, I did not pay for this shipping. And I checked. I didn't. They just shipped it right away. I don't know if they screwed up on their end or what happened. They were just being very nice to me. <laughs> um, and I thought I only ordered pepperoni. So for this pear or pepperoni, because it just says pepperoni on the listing. That's where I should start. It just says pepperoni on the listing. And it also doesn't show a picture. So I assumed it was just pepperoni. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> It was actually pepperoni and carpaccio. So very excited about that. I guess when they're not used, they have like a little piece of plastic over the magnet to keep it from scratching, which is nice, I guess, if you care. Um, I don't. She comes with pizza and also pasta because of course she does. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get her on there. She also has magnets in both feet. Oh. Hold up a sec. They do have, oh my gosh, I'm a, they do have holes in the back of them. Here I'm thinking, they don't have holes in the back of them. Why would they add the pincer arms? Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep ripping right off. Um, so I guess you can do it like an Android if you want. Yeah, oh, okay. That's way better, actually. So why, why, I guess they just give it to you as an option? I don't know, hey, I'll take optional pieces of the plastic any day. There we go. Now I feel like she's much more secure. Yeah, we can go ahead and plop a little pepperoni on there. Her head comes off easily too. The thing that's kind of exciting about that is that that means you can pop their heads off and theoretically if you wanted to, just kind of, right? Like, you change your outfits up. So if you wanted these, you could theoretically just go ahead and fix the camera. But all, I think all of these girls, for the, something just fell off of her. Oh, it's a piece of her hair? Okay, so Carpaccio's got extra things for her hair. I'm just learning more and more about these. So she got little extra pieces that come off of her hair. I wonder then, I don't want to break anchovy, but I wonder if her twin toes come out. Yeah, they do. Okay. I mean, I don't know why you'd do that, but they do. They come out if you want. Oh, paint. Holy paint transfer. <laughs> uh, it's only under one twin tail, but apparently they got a lot of the black from her little ribbons on it. I don't care. I'm just letting you guys know. Her magnet keeps falling out. Pepperonis seem to be staying pretty well. Yeah. So maybe that's just an anchovy problem. Maybe that's because I got it pre-owned. So maybe they broke it. it. Looks like Carpaccio comes with the same exact thing. She comes with a slice of pizza and also spaghetti. So you could make anchovy hold those two since all the pieces kind of are interchangeable. So if you want to instead make anchovy hold them, you can. And it seems like the little holes on the sides, probably should take a piece of plastic off first. The little holes, what did I just do? Did I, I just broke it immediately. Okay, well, apparently the glue of the magnet sometimes comes off, I guess. These are new, but wow, that's fun. Ain't that something? So these, I'm trying to explain this, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. The little stand piece has a thicker end on one side and a smaller end on the other. The smaller ends actually can go in the corners and the thicker ends go, not on that side, here. I guess they give you those little pieces so that way you can move them. Yeah, you can move them in front of her shoulders. So like that. Not like that. Her base being messed up is kind of gonna be a problem. They can see that already, but here they are. So 
so very cute. Very cute. And yeah. Uh, they come with two extra face places to tin, both smiling, all happy and cute. They do not come with a tank, they just come with food and forks. And that's it. And that's it. That is everything. <laughs> all right.